Women seem that by choosing the path of a girl made for harems is gonna get them the wife status. No. Choose yourself up. In this video topic will be about ladies, the difference between his harem and wife material. Let's get into it. So Women seem to be mixing up their positions and what they can get and what they can achieve. See, there is a certain path you must take to get to the goals you want with the people, with your life, with your ambitions. And depending on the path and the goal will arise the equation, the answer, the final product. See, but if your path that you're taking does not add up properly with the goal that you want, then do not be surprised when it doesn't work out well for you. See, you cannot have a path of sex, playing, partying, doing whatever the fuck you want, having just pure fun, and then expect to be a wife to a high value man. Because, ladies, those watching, Guys, take notes. Your history and your past matters. Maybe not in context, but in baggage, habits, memories, emotional turmoil, damage, scarring. See, the more a woman goes through experiences with men, the more she will keep on comparing and comparing. And once a woman gets used to something, she wants more than what she had. That's why if you give a woman a piece, they want an entire mile. So what happens when a woman goes down a path of fun, partying, being for the streets, alcohol, drugs, sex, being trains ran over them? What happens is that stays in her for the rest of her life. And if she does it once or she did it before, she will do it again. By nature, we are creatures of habits. And when it comes to trauma, when it comes to hard grinds and experiences, men grow from them, women decline from them. It's why men and women from every parental age has always wanted to protect the daughter from everything. We were willing to put their sons into tough positions because they knew the son would grow from it, but they also knew that the daughter would be damaged by it. See, women get traumatized easier than men. Women get traumatized easier by smaller things. Men get traumatized by more heartful things. But men can get over it. Women can't. They don't. Victims of assaults, victims of being touched funny, men can grow past that. A woman will never, ever, ever grow past that. Because she's emotional. How she feels is what dictates how she's going to be acting. Feelings come first. Men put their logic before their feelings. So therefore, that logic has a chance of changing the way they feel. So grinding and your path will change the way you are. And the outcome you'll get. Women seem that by choosing the path of a girl made for harems is going to get them the wife status. No. See, to become a wife, you must... Have the qualities and the path taken to be a wife. Who is going to be a wife? The girl who's for the streets. Who doesn't know how to cook a meal. Who doesn't know how to be feminine. Who doesn't know how to care for a man. And support him when he needs it. Who doesn't know how to handle social situations. Who doesn't know how to handle stressful money-wise situations. Or the woman who was kept by a very religious family. Doesn't have much life experience therefore doesn't come with that much baggage. Knows how to cook meals because her grandma taught her. Knows how to uh, take care of kids because and her family there were young kids around. Knows how to respect the man because she had a dad around. Because the other girl didn't, ha didn't have any dads. The other girl has daddy issues but she had a proper dad. Therefore she knows how a woman and a man acts with each other. And has dealt with her parents having money issues. Therefore she's already experienced in that. And knows the importance of a family structured environment. The woman who isn't damaged, who doesn't have that much experience in life, will be more suitable to be a wife material.
because she doesn't have something called a hoe phase. Women who are good for wife material for high value men are women who did not have a hoe phase. Or it wasn't that extreme of a hoe phase. These are usually the girls who are very quiet, shy, and don't get well with social environments. Or don't have that many male friends. But girls who have many male friends are attention seekers. An attention seeker does not make a good wife because if a woman, if a wife is seeking attention from other men when she's married, then why did she get married for? Marriage is made to create strong families. Strong families. I don't see why girls who are just about the fun experiences think they have the right to ask for that if they weren't even prepared or never even learned the skills or the mentality or the sacrifice. But see, that's the thing though. Women don't know what sacrifice is because nowadays women are given the Ferrari keys at the age of 16 and are told to do whatever the fuck you want to do without even giving them a driver's license. Metaphor for women get to do whatever the fuck they want and people help them and don't give them permission or work hard for it easier so it's gonna make a big difference see ladies just because he wants to <laughs> stroke you until you bust does not mean he wants you as a wife and see girls don't like it when guys just want to fuck so of course guys aren't gonna admit hey i just want you to fuck no nah, we'll we'll bring you along we'll make you fall in love with our dicks we'll make you love our attention and not having it we'll pull it back we'll Feed you some scraps here and there. We'll drag it on. We'll give you experiences. Yeah. Yeah. We won't cut off all our female counterparts. We won't cut off all our female friends for you. No. We'll do that. And you're going to keep them coming back. You, oh, you want you want the man so bad. The man doesn't want you for serious. No. He just wants you for your guts. That's, not, that's all he wants. He just wants you for your body. And you hate that. What you hate most is the fact that you're in love with the guy. So you're going to keep coming back and keep coming back and keep coming back. Because he's good at what he does. But see, no matter what the fuck you do, you're never going to get him. Because you already fucked up a long time ago with your history. The past matters, fellas. Ladies, your past matters. If you have a kid, that matters. If you have a bunch of boyfriends and exes, that matters. If you have a bunch of abortions, that matters. Because your character shows the path you take. Your goals, your outcome, and your path taken matters. If your path doesn't add up with what you want, then you're bullshitting yourself and you're being immature. See, people make fun of guys who are young, not take them seriously. But guys who are young, to become successful men in their 30s, are guys that were serious and mature at a young age, but no one took them serious. Women don't take themselves serious. Don't take their life goals serious. Therefore, men will not take them serious. Men cannot take you serious if you're a type of girl who's just made for fun. It's just... <laughs> nah, we're not gonna take you serious. See, you don't deserve to be taken serious. Because that's not what guys value. We don't value that as white material. Sure, you can come into my harem, yeah, of course. Make you feel good. Please all your uh, desires, everything you want, satisfy all your uh, needs and wants. But you're never gonna be the wife. No, you'll never be on that level. Yeah, I might take you out to uh, McDonald's or whatever, and fuck the shit out of you in the back of the car, but a wife girl, a wife girl gets the best shit. She gets the best restaurant, she gets the best car, she gets the best dick multiple times she gets my financial support you see besides sex the one thing men and women do for each other women hold themselves for only the one man that they want men hold their resources to the one woman that he wants the wife stays with that guy because she knows he's worth it because she knows he has value and he's worth more than most guys out there she probably cannot do better she will love him for just that. And women will do a lot for money. And if a woman is capable of holding herself back from other men and making sure she doesn't make mistakes to where it jeopardizes her relationship with her husband, that type of woman is a wife material. A woman who's willing to say no 
to Snapchat, to Instagram, to Facebook, to getting male attention from everywhere. That's women who are willing and are capable of being white material. If you're a woman and you're not capable of letting go of your male attentions, your male friends, your male orbiters, then you are not wife material. You're not. Sorry, sweetheart. Because being a wife material or being girlfriend material means you must put your boyfriend first before how you feel. Aha. Yes. You must think of someone else besides yourself. Girls who made for hair and the fun, the, you, you guys can go fuck other men. Us guys won't give a shit. Nah. You can do whatever you want. You can have fun. Do your stuff. But don't think I'm gonna take you seriously. Like, nah, that's not how it works, sweetheart. You cannot. You cannot have huge mileage and expect to charge the same price as a brand new Ferrari that's never been touched. You cannot be some Toyota who's all damaged and old when a Ferrari who has never been touched is asking for the same price as your price. Why the fuck would a guy choose your Toyota and not the Ferrari? When the Ferrari comes with less baggage, your Toyota comes with popped wheels, leaking brakes, Radio doesn't fucking work. Mirrors are broken. Transitions fucked up. Why? No. Ladies, there is a difference between being harem girl and wife girl. Depending on how the guy treats you, who you met, and what's it for in the vibe. But see, women, you'll never know which one you're for. Because you'll be too busy feeling the emotions and fucking to care. Because y'all care in the moment, not the goal and the route and the long term purpose. That's a man's job is to take up the long term. Cause hell, our fucking prime isn't the long term. Yours is in the short term. Most girls will not, like 99% of girls will not figure out that you need to be taking the right path if you really want to be what you say you want to be. You cannot be taking a shitty, stupid, unstable path and expect a stable satisfying outcome there's a difference yeah she got a fat ass but she ain't serious material put her in the harem list her ass ain't that fat but she's sweet kind feminine doesn't have that much experience with men yeah, put her in the wife section oh it's so judgmental it hurts your feelings women ladies listen you are the most judgmental heartless of all, you guys have no problems telling a man what you like and don't like. You guys have no problems wasting a man's time. You just hate it when a man who has influence, power, and value is picky on his options. Because you've never dealt with that before in your life. Because you were too busy being the Ferrari. And then when you became the Toyota, and he became the Ferrari, he now gets to act where you got to act when you were 20. And you don't like that. Because you've never been used to it. But that's how guys felt when guys were the Toyota in the first couple of years, in their 20s. You're finally getting to experience what it was like. It's why there's a saying. Women start becoming more maturing like men when they hit their 30s. When they hit their 30s, they lack options, they lack sex, they lack respect, they lack attention. Those are things men have already went through at a young age. Which makes us the badasses that we'll end up to be in our 30s. So take notes, ladies. If you really want to lock yourself a high-value man, you gotta fix your route, your bad habits, your bad friends. Right now. Guys, don't take women seriously who aren't meant for long-term, right? You can have fun, yeah. But not re relationships aren't meant to be taken seriously or to last forever. Don't listen to whatever people, your beta friends, your parents, your mom, your sister, or the girl says. Don't. Don't take someone's opinion that's based on emotions and fairy tales. Trick you from life's cruel realities. Not to mention, there's nothing wrong with just fucking having a good time. But see, that, is, that doesn't work in women's minds. That's the reality we live in. You don't play by the same rules, fellas. Be dead inside. Be dead inside. And level the fuck up. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you fellas in the next video. Take care.